Oh, we're getting all crossed up back in the old trailer and yeah! <laughs> what up y'all? And welcome back to another one. We are underway. Uh, filling up the containers with all of the decoys and hunting gear. Uh, this is a day. This is the day I've been telling y'all about. Finally, getting all this stuff out of my shop, getting my shop back, and uh, just getting things organized. Pre-gaming, prep. Season prep, pre-season prep, uh, to guide season. Guide season this year, we have increased our client capacity uh, two times over. So, double the amount of clients, double the amount of decoy management look at all these <laughs> but that's what we got going on old g units here god you're looking more g unit than ever right now look at the fit yeah look hold on hold on, hold on. we'll dress just like freaking adam sandler <laughs> you are no <laughs> f's given you need to start wearing your baggy athletic shorts your basketball shorts act like i'm good at basketball yeah yeah but we're gonna get going here. We're gonna do a, I'm gonna put down the camera so we can get to loading all this stuff. I'm gonna give you guys a little insight to what we're doing. All of my stuff. You'll get to see how much decoys and stuff I actually have. It's a ton. Uh, and then at the end here, we're gonna go to one of the new leases. I finally got this lease pond. It's been a dream for me to get it. And G-Wagon and myself and y'all are gonna head over there and check it out in just a few. Oof, that spangles hit the spot. Oh, God. Oh, God. God. Man, I feel so fat. <laughs> Taking my line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when Gerald's around, it's nothing but eating. Um, here we are. Check it out. This is the new lease fill. She's freshly cut. This is where we got the band with Charlie. Yes, this is where we shot the band with Charlie. Y'all remember that video? Uh, the little redhead gal, Charlie, and her dad, uh, two clients from last year. That was special. That was good. I was scouting that day. Yeah. This, uh, what did we, what did we do? We did two hunts here. Three hunts. Three hunts. On this? Three hunts. Two on the corner. And then one, one out oh, there. you're the right. Field. Yep, you're right. Good but we never, good. yeah, all good, all good hunts. We never hunted this pond, though. We hunted up against it, but we never hunted the pond. And I got on a lot, and we never mess with them. No, that's I gonna, think it's uh, we'll, gonna change. Yes, we're gonna definitely mess with them. Uh, it's a beauty. It's a lot bigger than you'd think. Oh, oh there big was old a, bass! Just that was a bass right there. We were. Just, <laughs> you got so excited. We were just. I asked Gerald. I'm like, you think there's any fish in it? He was like, there's got to be some big old largemouth just jumped. Check it out. This is where we hid with the A-frames last year. We put the decoys out here. This was all planted wheat. It's all cut, obviously. She's a beaut. She's big. That's yeah, huge. Check her out. Yeah, gonna be a good hide. Look at all the cattails. I think there's a good hide over here though. Right over here. Beautiful cattails on a lot of it. I've hunted this pond and made a video man that was probably four years ago every bit of four years ago yeah creeping over the treetops the full bodies out there where would you put the a-frame just right here grass it up leave these weeds in front like that You'd be gone. yeah this is a good bank area this is where wade and i hunted it's got a good little spot kind of a flat spot we might have to shovel some dirt get a little flatter for the a-frame right here but this is giant bass right there giant bass two oh, of them three oh of them. wow yeah Ooh, we need to come fishing we need to come fishing oh that's a bass bed oh yeah you can, you can see the beds yeah so they'll just zoom look around. at all the bluegill oh, wow you'd have a heyday dude yeah you would this is gorgeous it is huge man it's way bigger than you than you think it looks nice and sandy too, so I don't have to sink. It is. It's, it's not silty at all. God. I walked out. I remember when me and Wade hunted it. I was I was worried about it. It is sandy and hard bottom. Beauty. Here we are. Yep. I'm pretty excited about it. We've been, uh, Gerald and I, we've been trying to wrap up duck ponds. Duck ponds. Duck ponds. Finally, we got a good one. Turkey poo? 
There you go. Um, the hunt that you did out there in the middle of the field, how many did you guys kill that day? Wasn't it like 20 or 25? I think it was mid 20s. Mid 20s. It was super windy and then they ended up going to that field across the road and we were just getting traffic. But every time they came from the south, it's good. Yeah. I know both of these hunts, the one hunt that Joey was on, man, we killed, oh no, it was, I think it was that hunt. Born and raised was here. Yeah, because they were with Charlie and then yep. the, the and other Joey father's was son. There. Masalo was here. Oh, v -Dog? Yeah, and we were killing honkers. <laughs> oh, he was so happy. Lashes. Yeah. He has a problem when it comes to honkers. Yeah. He messaged me yesterday. He's like, you guys got to come up here in September. I want to go. Come on, outside. Well, back home, back at the lodge. Uh, the rest of the boys are here. Preston, Bradley, we just got done cooling off we've been sweating our buckets off man I'm telling you working our yin yangs off sweating working on the shop working on all these dang decoys check it out oh yeah oh yeah i don't even want to be back out here in the heat dude it's hot man it's too hot out get open oh way too hot out sick of it oh yeah, what's going on here? <laughs> there it goes. Oh, well, we got everything in here now. Can't really tell much. But we got all of the floaters hung up all the way down, and we got all the all of my other decoys all the way in front. Looks good. I like it. During the season, we won't have the Argo and the side by side in here. That'll be gone. But being P. Diddy's trailer. Yep. Looks good. Can't see much. I forgot. We already loaded it up and kind of packed it away. Just have to climb in there. <laughs> well, look what we got going on here. Tell me that isn't a beautiful sight next to the new lease pond. Yep. No, we're not hunting. Me and Bradley, we just came out here and did some ducks photos. Yeah, we got excited last got night. Got a little sweaty. That took a, that was only about thirty minutes, man. Yeah, it's hot. The, the neoprene waders. This is not the time for. Oh my goodness! I know the neoprenes. Luckily, it's not that hot this morning, but it's still like probably close to eighty degrees. Getting it's there. Getting, it's getting to close to eighty. It was like sixty-five this morning. Cool enough that coming out to do this was not that big of a chore. Yeah, that's very true. This site right here, though, yeah, man, I am missing it. We're ready for it. North Dakota can't come soon enough. Gets you in the gets you in the mood out tossing decoys around. Like <laughs> I know. Birds chirping. I know. Sitting in the reeds. We took some photos there, and I'm just I'm out here drooling and sweating at the same damn time. But the old uh, the old pond lease. This is actually the next day we came out. Like I said, uh, it's gorgeous. I can't believe I got it. Um, I have drooled over this pond as well as many others have too there's been a lot of people that hunted it you know and leased it before kind of just day leasing for the day for the one hunt but uh to have it to myself uh pretty special i'm not going to take it for granted hopefully we can get a few uh just small solo hunts maybe with with bodie and and fred and myself uh but we're going to be guiding out here a bunch this is the reason um guiding is the reason why i i lease stuff now it used to be well i just wanted a little pond here and a one field there now with guiding we really have to lease stuff up and uh unfortunately it costs a bunch of money uh that's the part of this i'm sure a lot of you are wondering how much i paid for this i can't say i can't just go and blurt my business out there and spill all the beans you know that wouldn't be smart can't spill the beans can't spill the beans could be a good topic to talk about sometime though i'm more of like a a general surface level type like feel. just like how expensive it is to guide or something well yeah not even guiding there's a lot of people out there i'm sure i used to be where you want to hunt stuff and farmers like no so you have to offer at least a little bit like yeah like okay how boys, much is too much i mean like 20 bucks a person type to, i remember back in the day uh we used to just throw you know if there's five of us we'd say hey 25 bucks a person yeah you know 25 bucks for three hours morning on a saturday sunday of fun 
Yeah. It's worth the 25 bucks. It's hit and miss with everyone. Same it thing, is. a bottle of whiskey goes a long way too <laughs> yeah. with a lot of guys. A case of beer. I have a case of beer has got me a lot of fields. Yeah. A lot of times I try to take two cases and it was they're like, hey, that whoa, I'm not an alcoholic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're back home at the old lodge. <sighs> we had a party last night. We partied on the podcast. Oh yeah. We uh we knocked out two podcasts yesterday. But last night's when will uh last night's podcast go up? Uh two Saturdays from this one. Two weeks from now, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. So two episodes from yep. Sunday. Uh the date will be cut. Cut. <laughs> yeah. uh, the date will be the 24th. That was the a 24th. good one last night. Yeah. Or 25th, sorry. The the 25th. Last night's podcast was. It got interesting. It got it got non-family friendly, like like old PDD likes to put it. So uh, I'll uh, link the old podcast at the top of the description. Thank you all for being here. I'm tired. We got up early. Had to go do the go do the duck stuff. Me and old Bradley. But uh, I'm going to take me a midday nap, I feel. Uh, go check the podcast out. A lot of people seem to like it. It's raw. It's uncut. You get to see a different side of me and us. And we talk about stuff that we can't on the YouTube channel. And um, I'm telling you, last night got interesting. No lie. But subscribe if you haven't uh, because the season starts off in August. We'll, us three at least will be in and uh, North Dakota, what, what is that? August 15th-ish, somewhere around there. And then we're going all the way through February into Snow Goose. The season's coming. I hope you all are cranked like I am, just jacked, ready for it to be here. Uh, guys, get, get planned to get out there this year. If this is your first year, hunt more than you did last year. Get out there, enjoy it, make some memories. But until next time. Criticism, pessimism